Hello and welcome to my channel! In this tutorial, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to place a 3D helicopter model into a real video using 3D camera tracking in After Effects. Whether you're a beginner or have some experience, by the end of this video, you'll be able to create cinematic effects without using any plugins. First, import the video you recorded with your camera into After Effects. Make sure the video has motion and depth. For best results, use outdoor footage. Scenes with foreground and background will make the process easier. If you don't have suitable footage, you can download free video backgrounds from websites like Pixels or Pexels. Drag your video onto the New Composition button. This will automatically match the composition settings to your video. Select your video layer, go to the Effects and Presets panel, find the 3D Camera Tracker effect, and apply it to the layer. After Effects will now analyze your video. This process may take a few minutes depending on the length and resolution of your footage. For more accurate tracking, enable the Detailed Analysis option in the Effects settings. This will take longer, but produce better results. Now let's wait for After Effects to complete the analysis. Once tracking is complete, you'll see colorful tracking points appear on the scene. These represent surfaces within your footage. Choose a flat surface where you want to place your 3D model. Right-click and select Create Solid in Camera. This will generate a 3D camera and a solid layer tied to the tracked surface. To add the 3D helicopter model, download a free model from Sketchfab. Choosing lightweight, simple models will help your project run faster. Import the helicopter model into your project and click on Make Comp Size to match the model's comp to your main composition. Hold Shift and drag the helicopter model to link it to the previously created 3D solid. This will anchor the model to the tracked surface. Then make small adjustments to position, scale, and orientation to fit the scene. To enhance realism, let's add a light to the scene. Go to the Layer panel, New, Light, and choose Environment as the Light Type. If shadows from your helicopter or other 3D objects don't appear automatically, you may need to enable them manually. Check the Renderer settings in the bottom right of the Composition panel. Click the Advanced tab and open the Render Options section. Then enable Fit to Scene to ensure that shadows are cast onto surfaces. If the shadow appears cut off because our solid is too small, increase the solid scale. But first, unlink the helicopter model from the solid because otherwise the model will scale up too. After unlinking, select the solid layer, press S to open scale, and increase the scale until the shadow is fully visible. Now let's use an HDRI background for realistic lighting. You can download free HDRI files from polyhaven.com. I'll include links to all the websites in the video description for easy access. Import the HDRI file into your project, add it to the timeline, and click the eye icon on the left to make it invisible, since we'll use it only for lighting. Now open the light options in the light layer, set the source to your HDRI file. This will reflect the HDRI image onto your 3D model, resulting in more realistic lighting. If you don't see this option, click the Toggle Switches Modes button in the bottom left of the timeline. To increase the brightness, select the Light layer and raise the intensity value. This will make the model's lighting more visually fitting and impressive. Next, open the Transform section and adjust the direction of the light and shadows. This helps align the shadows naturally with the environment. Finally. Reduce the shadow darkness setting to make the shadows softer and more natural, enhancing realism. To animate the helicopter blades, click the arrow next to the model layer to expand its options. Open the Animation Options section at the bottom. Change None to Animation to activate the propeller rotation. 
For rotating blades or other motions, you'll need an animated model. Try searching for animated helicopter on Sketchfab to find suitable ones. You'll notice the animation lasts only one second and then disappears. Let's fix that. Right click on the model layer, go to the time menu and choose enable time remapping. This creates two keyframes, one at the start, one at the end. Now extend the layer by dragging its right edge to the end of the composition. The model stays in the scene now, but the blades don't rotate continuously. To fix this, select both keyframes, then hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon next to Time Remap. In the expression box, type Loop Out. Now the animation will loop until the end of the composition. Now, let's turn off the visibility of the green solid layer to make the shadow appear properly in our scene. We open the solid layer settings and go to the material options section, then set accepts shadows to only. This makes the solid invisible, but the shadow still appears correctly in the scene, enhancing the realism of our composition. If you like, you can enrich your scene by adding other 3D models as well. However, to keep this tutorial from getting too long, I demonstrated the process using just a single model. I hope you've clearly understood all the steps. If there's anything unclear or confusing, feel free to ask in the comments section. Press the spacebar to preview your animation. If everything looks good, your animation should run smoothly. Even in its current state, our animation already looks quite impressive and realistic. Of course, we could add more elements to enrich the scene further, but achieving this level of quality using just the basic steps is truly remarkable. It really shows how powerful After Effects 3D camera tracker feature can be. You can also personalize your own scenes using these techniques and achieve even more visually stunning results. You can also apply this technique beyond just helicopter models. Try using buildings, vehicles, spaceships, or even 3D characters to transform your scene into something entirely new. It all depends on your imagination. Remember, creating cinematic scenes doesn't always require complex plugins. With the right lighting, camera movement, and shadow settings, you can achieve simple yet powerful results. Repeating the steps I've shown in this tutorial a few times will help you understand the technique better and develop your skills. You'll notice your progress with every new project. If you enjoy this kind of work, I'll be sharing more tutorials on similar projects. If you have any suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comments. Your feedback is very valuable to me. That's it. Our helicopter animation is complete. With camera tracking, lighting, HDRI, shadows, and rotating blades, we've built a professional composition. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope this video helped you understand how to use 3D camera tracking and model placement in After Effects. See you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like.